for now. Please, come and have a seat. Hmm? Yep, I've been planning a lot of things and I've got much to teach you about voice box. Let me give you an introduction. So, voice box is basically a youth programme, okay? So... Voice box, and a lot of people say it's very, very exciting. Exciting, the key word there. It shows, like, colourful programmes that a lot of people enjoy, okay? So basically, we first start off by planning the show. So we must first, we go to film the show, right? This can take quite a long time. So during filming episodes, um, from there possibly, we can do that. Well, basically, sometimes when I feel like I say that, we have to take almost some time to respond to the program. Okay? Orna! What? Are you not listening to the lesson I've given you about voice box? I was! Uh, but can I tell you the truth? Okay. Well, learning new things could be fun, but you're, the way you were teaching was a little bit um, boring. Boring? Yeah, I guess you're right. Because when I was at school, uh, it was very hands-on and very practical. And when I was at film school, we did a lot of practical work with cameras, etc. So we could learn while having fun. Is there anything like this for people in Mongolia? Yes, of course. Well, for example, we have the Mongolian Education Alliance, which supports several projects for young people to help make learning fun. Cool. And we recently met with Sarah Henderson from the Mongolian Education Alliance and she told us about some of the projects they are involved with at the moment. So, thanks for coming on the show today, Sarah. Could you give us a bit of information about what the Mongolian Education Alliance does? Certainly. Uh, the Mongolian Education Alliance is an education NGO and we work to improve the quality of education in Mongolia and also the access to education for all Mongolian children. So a lot of our work involves teacher training and training other education actors such as school managers and principals. So what sort of projects are you working on at the moment? Well, alongside our regular teacher training projects, we have quite a lot of youth projects going on right now. And those include English and Mongolian debate clubs in schools around Ulaanbaatar and also uh, some internship programs for young people uh, living in the outlying Gare districts. But one of our really interesting uh, youth projects is the Financial Education for Girls project. And one of the schools that's doing that is the Hobby School. Now, that sounds like an interesting project, so I think we should go and check it out. Sounds like a good idea. Hello, welcome to Hobby School. The best things in life are free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I want money. That's what I want. My name is Alma and I'm a student at National University in September. 2009, I joined the financial education program for girls and actually has been initiated this program last year. Organized from US Women's World Banking and Microfinance Opportunities are partnering in the program for Mongolian kids. Mongolian Education Alliance NGO is also involved in the program. MEA does trainings for peer educators and monitor clubs at schools. I took part in the training for peer educators last fall and now I'm teaching financial education sessions to girls at Hobby School. Uh, I have 10 girls in my school, in my class here and we already have 3 sessions. The sessions are mainly about sessions and personal budgets. My girls enjoy them much. I like to work with the girls and now we are like friends. We are taking part in the Teenage Girls Financial Program. This is very useful for our future, for we learn how to save up our money. Um, we like the idea that our teacher is a student. Um, this really helps us to interact with her more. Um, this program offers us many advantages. Uh, for example, we get to have our saving books. And it teaches us how important money is, and how to spend it correctly, and how to save it. Uh, this is the handbook we're learning from, and it's about financial. Um, it's about saving money and finance. Uh, your love gives me such a thrill, but your love.
love won't pay my bills. I want money. Of the financial financial um, program. financial program for saving our money for college and emergencies, things we need in the future. So, to have some, to not have financial financial problems. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so this is the savings book that uh, it's from Hus Bank, and we uh, will like um, get this from during the lesson, during the program. Um, it's very useful for um, saving money. Like we can put our money to this book. We can use it whenever we want. I'm very glad to participate in this um, financial program. And uh, our teacher is very kind, and she always take care <laughs> about us. And uh, <coughs> we have learned about uh, saving our monies. And the next le in the next le lesson, we are going to um, study about uh, saving books. And I'm very. What other assignments have you got going on in Mongolia? Well, one of our most popular projects is the Book Gear Project. Are these actual gears? Unfortunately not. Uh, they are reading rooms that are based in community centres in some of the remotest toros in Ulaanbaatar. Hey, so the Book Gear sounds pretty cool. Maybe we should go and pay it a visit. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And this could be your first assignment for Voicebox. Even better idea. I've got your jacket. I think it's time to go. Good luck. Hey guys, so we've arrived here at the book gear. This is the first book gear to be opened in Dempsey. I hear there are some kids inside, so let's go inside and have a look. Hello! Shut the bedroom window in the morning. Go to the shop, make plans to be leaving. Hey, nice to meet you. Hello. My name's Erna. My name's Bacha. This place looks great. Want to show me around? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's start with the books. Okay. An alley cat chewing on the meat. Here we have uh, books for children. Mm -hmm. uh, we have here about 400 books in Mongolian for children up to, uh, let's say, age 12, 13. Uh, there are some books uh, written by Mongolian writers, books translated from other languages. Uh, and also we have uh, over 100 English books. And I will show you uh, one book. Uh, we had the books translated mm -hmm. by, uh, and they are glued here, mm -hmm. so it's easier for children to read both English and Mongolian, mm -hmm. and we thought it might help them to learn English. Yes. In addition to books for children, we have other uh, materials for adults, mm -hmm. for the 